the second movie that I did, Eddie Makin's Run, Kirk Douglas was in it. Uh, that was the first time I met him. And we became friends after a kind of a rough beginning. Uh, we became good friends. And he became kind of a mentor and a teacher for me for a while because he had so much knowledge and experience. So that, and that, that friendship lasted until he passed away last year or two years ago. Prison officials are confident he'll be back in custody by tomorrow. Sports in a minute, but now this. Doesn't your family deserve the very best? The whitest whites, the brightest colors. Give your family best. The family. That's the key. Right, Nicky boy? The, the first time I worked with him, I, it was only my second movie. I had never really made any student films or anything. I, I didn't go to film school, so I had a lot to learn. And Kirk came to location uh, to do his part. And what I didn't realize is Kirk had produced a lot of movies. He had directed some movies. He had starred in many movies. And he had opinions, lots of opinions about the script. So he sent me a long letter of questions and suggestions. And I thought, because I'm supposed to be the director and I was the writer of that movie, that I have to defend what I wrote. So our first meeting was in his hotel room. And he said, so did you get my, my, my note, my letter? It was like six pages long. I said, yeah, I did. He said, well, what do you think? I said, well, maybe we should go through it. So we sat down and we started to go through it. And then I started basically rejecting all of his suggestions. Yeah, I don't want to do this because of this reason. And yeah, I see what you're saying here, but I don't think so. And got to about the sixth one. And, in the, and this one was where he said he, he was playing a tough cop from New Jersey who's chasing John Schneider. And, he, and he's got to uh, interrogate some rednecks in texas and he said i don't want to i don't want to interrogate the woman i want it to be a seduction and i thought oh no that that doesn't seem appropriate so i said i don't think so I don't, that, that won't work and he and he stops and he goes I'll, I'll do kirk douglas for you he goes you know i've made a few movies too you know and i go yeah he goes and i may not be right all the time but i'm not wrong all the time either so why don't you get the fuck out of my hotel room and he throws me out of his hotel room. That was our first real meeting. And how did you come up? Uh, how do you like fix that after that? Next, next morning, I get a knock on my door. It's his driver. Mr. Douglas would like you to ride out to the location with him. So I go into his motor home and we're driving out to the location. And he says, look, I took this job because I saw your first movie and I liked it. And I read your script and I liked it. And I'm not trying to mess things up. But I'll tell you from my experience that If you're going to be a director and work with actors, you can't shut them down. Everything they say, you can't reject. You got to at least seem like you're open to it or listening. You just don't say no, 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 no. I said, I know. I'm sorry. I, I think I was just being defensive and I was tired. And, and I said, but, but this thing about seducing this woman, I mean, he can't seduce this woman. He's got to, he's a cop. He's got to chase these guys. He goes, I don't mean literally seduce her. I mean, instead of bullying her, I want to get the information out of her by being soft and seductive. And I went, oh. And from that point on, he taught me a lot. 